In this video, we're going to show you how to make a funeral slideshow. Hey folks, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So this isn't one of the funnest things um, that I want to make a video about, but it's kind of necessary. Um, actually, I have a funeral tomorrow at church, and most of the time, um, either funeral homes or um, just in most funerals, um, they want to have some type of memento, a video, a slideshow of different photos of the person who has passed um, and they're having a celebration of life. And just wanted to walk you through a very simple way to do this. Um, normally I use DaVinci Resolve and I do all this other fancy stuff, but I just wanted to show you a very easy way that anybody can actually do this no matter what um, your computer is or anything like that. Now again, I am doing this from a Windows standpoint, but I know that the Mac has something similar. I don't have access to a Mac right now so I can demo it but once I get my hands on one I would do an updated version for the Mac so let's go ahead and cut over to the computer all right so the very first thing is let me go all the way back here what we want to do is go to the start button and I am on Windows 10 we're gonna go to the Microsoft Store and what we're gonna look up is movie maker all right, so this is the movie maker that we're going to use. Comes built in most of the time, um, but just in case, I wanted to go ahead and show you how this is done. So let's cut over to screen number two because that's the one it decided to open up on. All right, so here's the movie maker, and it's really, really simple to do this. I actually had um, the son of the lady at our church who passed, whose funeral is tomorrow, he gave me a thumb drive full of images. It'll work with images or video. And this is the easy way to do this. So I'm not doing fancy transitions and all this other stuff. So this is actually the completed image, I mean video slideshow that I've already done. Um, but this is really simple. You can do this with, uh, well I'll go through a bunch of tools um, later in other videos to do this. But let's go ahead and click on new video project. We're going to give it a name, and I already made the funeral, but I'm just going to say funeral version 2. I'm going to click OK, and now your project library is empty, so we can just click on here and add. Add from this computer. Here's my thumb drive with all my pictures. I'm just going to do oh, select them all, do open. Just adding all the images. And obviously this is going to take, depending on how many images and how fast your computer is. All right, these are all my images here. Now all I'm going to do is click on here, place in storyboard. All right, and now here are all our images. Now what I'm going to do is do select all to grab everything. And I'm going to change the duration to five seconds. So that adds a duration to all of these. And if we just scroll through here, here are all of the pictures. You can click on a picture to let it see what it looks like and things like that. Now you could add a title card, you could do all that, but now I didn't get any other information. Normally I would want to start it off with the person's name, their um, birth, um, when they died, and put that on there, but I don't, I'm not going to do that on here because I didn't get that information. Now, if you wanted to, you could also click here and add background music. They have predetermined background music already in here, or you can add your own custom music in here if you wanted to, and you can time it to different parts. But what we normally do in a church, at my church, we play music that is separate from this so that in certain parts of the funeral we'll play the slideshow again and we don't want to really have music going on because either a choir singing someone speaking or something like that so i'm just going to make this as just a straight um, slideshow 
Now, the one thing I don't like about this, there are no transitions. So it's just kind of jarring when it jumps in between pictures. See, it just jumps to it. There's no fancy transition and stuff like that. And we can do that. I guess they've changed this to where you actually have to pay for all these other features. But for the premise of what we're doing this for, um, I don't think anybody is really going to be caring about the transition and special effects. It's all about showing the pictures of the person who is um, we're celebrating life for. All right, so we got all that together. You can always come in here and readjust the images in any direction if you wanted to. Um, like I said, we're not doing that. This is fine. Um, you can always remove all, rotate, all this other stuff right here. Do motion on these if you wanted to. I'm Again, I'm not going to do that in this. So now, when we're done, let's come up in here. And you can also add a theme and all this other stuff. Change the aspect ratio. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and click on Finish Video. Set the quality that you want to render at. I'm going to do this at 1080p. You can use hardware acceleration if you have it. I have a graphics card, so that's fine. Now I'm just going to do export. Give it a title name, which it already did based off of what we gave it at the very beginning. Export. And again, this is going to be dependent on your system. Um, this really doesn't take very long, at least on my system it doesn't. Um, it all depends. Again, if you were doing video, that might take a little bit longer. And Boom, there's our video completely done. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, this is good for rotating. Normally I wouldn't like the black bars, but these were the pictures that we got, and that's perfectly fine. So that is about it. And that is very simple. Any church, any media ministry can do that. Whether you have a Windows computer or a Mac computer, any computer, they have the ability to do this and like I said when I get my hands on um, a Mac I will go through trying to do the exact same thing with this I might try this on my iPad but anyway if you like this type of content I'd appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry this is AJ we will see you on the next video later